taking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. With Crypto Lights here, we're back with another Zen Crypto video. We're going to talk about the price of Zen and why I think that this could be a good time to start buying Zen, especially on the Ethereum network. Okay, guys, so we see that the price has come down around 50% from the previous high we're looking at about a 50 percent drawdown all right guys and it is now bouncing off this support we have this trend line okay and it is bounced right and um why i believe that this may continue to go up uh, well firstly um zen is a much cheaper price than what it was yesterday okay it was almost hitting one cent um or just about hit one so it did take out that zero actually and now it is 50 percent down so you know if you were buying uh, zen up here if your dollar cost averaging uh, you're going to get a bunch of Zen for much cheaper than what you got it before. Another reason is, is uh, there's going to be more Zen being burnt. Okay, in order for Zen to be burnt, you need to buy Zen, first of all. Many people will be holding Zen, they'll be minting Zen, but people will be buying Zen to burn Zen. All we have to do is look at a project, a new project which will be launching on Zen called Phoenix. Okay, guys, if you've been following the channel, I've talked about this, and this is similar to Hex. Okay, it's a certificate of deposit platform on uh, uh, built built uh, to support Zen. Okay, so in order to get into this token, you have to burn Zen. Now, what we saw with the Polygon launch hasn't launched on Polygon yet, but people have been buying Zen on Polygon in order to get into the Phoenix token because you have to burn Zen. It will be launching on Polygon first. I'll tell you the reasoning behind why they're going to do that as well. So if you stay tuned, I'll explain. But first of all, it will launch on Polygon on April the 29th. Okay. So in the build up to the launch on Polygon, if we go to the Polygon Zen chart, which is MZen, you will see the huge pump that it had, okay? The pump didn't happen on the day of the launch, of course, the day of the launch is the 29th, right now we're on the 25th, but in the build up, people are jumping in early, or were jumping in early, in order to buy the Polygon Zen, so that they can use that to burn to get into the other project. There's gonna be people that were holding it before that of course are taking profits, so if you're super early and you get there before the pump, obviously you're going to be sitting pretty, okay, guys? But, um, yeah, we see a pullback on that as well. But the reason why it pumped is for the simple fact that it's going to be launching uh, on... Uh, that Phoenix is going to be launching on Polygon. People were getting their Polygon bids in so that they can then use their Polygon Zen to burn to get some Phoenix tokens. Now, the second chain it's going to launch on is Ethereum on May the 13th, okay? So right about now, we are approximately two and a half weeks away from May the 13th, which is why I believe that people are going to start, especially with the dip, it's perfect opportunity to accumulate Zen. People will potentially be starting to buy this in the build-up uh, for uh, Phoenix, and we will probably, probably see a run-up. Um, of course, if Bitcoin decides to turn around and start pumping again and ethereum starts pumping again as well we're just going to get more momentum okay guys but with zen's utility on its own to burn it to get into other tokens right and uh, we're probably going to see people begin to scoop this up at these prices all right guys and if it comes down further of course it's just another opportunity to buy the dip but i don't think we're going to come down much further from where it is at the moment at least in the very short term i think we will get a, at least a short term bounce okay guys but again coming up to may the 13th we're going to have the launch on ethereum okay uh, after that we may want to start accumulating the binance smart chains in okay um it's better to get in early before it's pumped Maybe buy some, and remember, this is not financial advice. Just giving you some game theory behind this, right? But um, it may be a good idea to start buying some uh, Binance Smart Chains in, which is what I'm going to be considering um, to accumulate that so that I can capitalize on whatever pump may come. Because remember, the Binance Smart Chain Zen is going to be more volatile than the Ethereum Zen uh, because of the lower liquidity. Ethereum Zen is going to be harder to pump but that's where we have most of whales, and it is the main Zen, okay? Many people will look at the other chains as kind of a short-term opportunity to make some quick gains. They may sell out of those, like Polygon Zen, for example, Binance Smart Chain Zen, for example, just to buy more Ethereum Zen, okay? I know that's what I'll be doing, right? So, um, yeah, I believe that, you know, obviously you can see after that will be Avalanche, Ethereum Proof of Work, Moonbeam, Evmos Phantom, Doge Chain and OK Chain, all on the May the 27th they will be launching. Okay, guys, so 
if you're playing this in a way that I'm looking to play this, you'll be accumulating uh, some Ethereum Zen. That's why I'm more, I bought more Ethereum Zen today on the dip. Okay, now the reason why they're doing it that way, right, is they did put a tweet out. Uh, sorry, not a tweet. Um, a reason why they were doing it that way. So it says here that we discussed with Jack and Zen Zhu about this and we all agreed, sorry, the question is, what's the logic behind launching on Polygon first? That's the Phoenix, right? So they said, we discussed with Jack and Zen Su about this, and we all agreed it would be best to start with Polygon, build up momentum with other EVMs, and then launch Ethereum. Okay? So they've started on Polygon to build up momentum and then launch Ethereum. So he said, the reason for this is to give people the ability to familiarize themselves with the Phoenix protocol by playing with pennies, not dollars. Since Polygon is much cheaper than ETH, this way there's a solid drum beat leading up to ETH. Think of it like a soft launch opportunity. So clearly, the Ethereum version is the most important. Polygon is sort of like a test run. Launch it on Polygon first. It's cheaper. People aren't paying a bunch of fees. They can familiarize themselves with the Phoenix protocol and then go harder on Ethereum. Okay, so game theory, right? So... In my opinion, I think this is a good place to buy Zen. I wouldn't be worried about this dip because at the end of the day, this is a quality project with long-term potential and lots of utility, um, plenty of utility even coming for this, right? And right now sitting on a trend line, it's had a 50% pullback and um, it's got a huge community. So uh, yeah, with everything uh, coming, with the Phoenix launch coming, we know that more Zen is going to be burnt. That is a fact. Okay, guys. So let's see how it goes. I think we are going to move upwards from here. So I am putting my money where my mouth is. Let me know what you're doing in the comment section. If you're not subscribed to the channel, do me a favor and subscribe. Again, I'm going to go to my YouTube uh, analytics. I'm going to show you the 57% of you are not actually subscribed. Okay, guys. It shows it right here. 63% of you. Gosh. 63% of my viewers are not subscribed. These are repeat viewers watching the videos. Do me a favor, it's free. Subscribe to the channel, please. That will help with the YouTube algorithm. Like the videos, comment down below. I'll see you guys in the very next video.